A News Channel 21 investigation uncovers arrest video of a suspect accused of killing a woman in the Dalles. Isabella Warren reports on the tragic chain of events. A Lapine man is in custody in Deschutes County as a prime suspect in the murder of 33-year-old Samantha Berggren. According to authorities, hotel staff found her body at a motel in the Dalles late morning, September 3rd. Just hours later, 32-year-old Zachary Cronkey reportedly told social workers at the Deschutes County Stabilization Center he had murdered a woman. Surveillance footage obtained by News Channel 21 shows workers speaking with Cronkey at a picnic table. You can see Cronkey smoking a cigarette as the social workers go back inside. Shortly after, SWAT teams arrive. They set up a perimeter and start talking with Cronkey, who now is sitting against a nearby tree. Reportedly armed with a knife, bleeding from the neck, and threatening to kill himself, police negotiate with Cronkey for nearly two hours. He then gets up and walks down the street as sheriff deputies follow him. The armed SWAT vehicle races down the street. A short moment later, Cronkey reportedly agrees to give up his knife for a cigarette and is arrested. One of the responding sheriff deputies told a reporter from the Columbia Community Connection he had coached Cronkey in middle school football 19 years ago. The murder case is now in the hands of police in the Dalles and the Wasco County District Attorney. Uh, Mr. Cronkey had, that was the room that he had, uh, he had rented for the evening. Um, he did make some statements there at the Stabilization Center down in Bend. Uh, but uh, a, a simple confession is not enough. We need more cooperating evidence before we can charge a homicide. The reported confession came just days after Cronky was released on $20,000 bail in Bend following a separate arrest at the time for menacing and unlawful use of a weapon while the rape case continued to be investigated. That crime occurred August 28th in Bend at the Royal Gateway Motel. On an initial response, we get some information. Many times we don't get all the information and the investigation continues into the future. That's what occurred in this case. The responding officers made an arrest that night, made some initial charges. As the week went on, there was additional information and additional crimes were developed. Those charges are decided by a grand jury. Deschutes County DA Steve Gunnels explained the jury will have to determine if the crime was a violent felony and if Cronky poses a threat to the public. Then he can continue to be held without bail in Deschutes County Prison. Police in the Dallas, which is about 130 miles from Bend, say investigators are piecing together a timeline and warrants are still active for the rape and assault in Bend. We still have an investigation going into the cause of death, but uh, at this point, uh, we don't, we're still working on having enough to charge Mr. Cronkey if we can charge him. The investigation is still ongoing. Ben PD and the Sheriff's Department say they will continue to work with the Dallas Police Department. Isabella Warren, News Channel 21.